Hi, you are watching Stella's Meza, and today we're going to prepare one of my favorite dishes, and this is a dish that is much requested during Thanksgiving dinner, and it is called banana pudding. Now, this is an American dish, it's a dessert that consists of bananas. Vanilla wafers, it consists of vanilla uh, essence, it also has eggs, it has sugar, and it has um, uh, evaporated milk in it. So on the spot, I'd already heated up these ingredients, and I'll break it down for you what I did. Now this is what you need, two cans of this, it's evaporated milk. Make sure you do not get condensed, sweetened milk, you need evaporated milk. So you need two cans of this, and you will need two cups of sugar. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's not overpowering. And then you will also need two tablespoons of butter, and you will need two tablespoons of cornstarch, okay? And you will also need one extra large egg, and you will need one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Get the good vanilla, because that really makes a difference in the taste, okay? So I had already started heating all these up. I'm just going to add, I've turned it off now because this is the consistency I'm looking for, okay? Now as it cools down, it's going to thicken further. So you don't want it to be too thick coming off the heat. You want this consistency, okay? Something like this, all right? Now I heated this up on medium heat on the stove for around 10 minutes and you have to consistently stir. And I found that it makes a difference if you use a whisk as opposed to a wooden spoon or a solid spoon because that helps break down any um, cornstarch that you put in. Be careful as you put in the cornstarch, you put a little at a time and you stir so that it's not lumpy. Okay? So I'm going to add my one teaspoon of good vanilla in here. And I wish you could smell this. It smells incredible. Okay? I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to stir. And I always put the vanilla at the end, okay, so that the, the essence of it does not evaporate as you heat it up. Okay, and we are good to go. We're about to move over to the other station where I have my trifle bowl set up. Now, a trifle bowl is a beautiful way of displaying your dessert or your dish, but um, you can use it for dessert as well as any savory dish that needs layering because it's tall and it really adds to the beauty of the dish, okay? So, I'm going to pick up my pot here. I'm going to move over here. Oh, I will need my trivet. Excuse me. There we go. All right. Now, that is a trifle bowl. In there, I have arranged some Nilla wafers. Now, this is what a Nilla wafer is. This is my favorite brand, Nabisco. It tastes good, and it has that essence of vanilla that adds to the flavor of the dish. And I use one and a half pack or one pack, depending on how big your truffle bowl is. This is a tall bowl, so I'm going to use one and a half most likely, but we'll see as we go along. And then I have my bananas here. You need three to four bananas, depending on the size of your uh, bowl. And then you will need a knife to cut up the uh, bananas. You'll also need a ladle to scoop the, um, to scoop the custard into the bowl, okay? And I'm going to move over here and show you what to do next, okay? So now, if you look into the bowl, into the truffle bowl, I'll show you. You try and arrange them, and at the bottom it's gonna be hard to do, to arrange them staggered, like I mean, a half of it on top of each other, but as we go, you'll see what I mean. So I just layer them flat, and then I put an extra layer on top, and that's what it should look like, okay? If you move in closer, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so now we're going to start on the bananas. Make sure your bananas are ripe, okay? You don't want to bite into the banana and have that the stuff that sticks on your teeth, and that's not the right uh, time to at which to use your bananas. So I'm going to start chopping here. I take the ends off, and I just kind of peel it off. Look out for those stringy parts of the banana. You want to get rid of that. You don't want to bite into that. Ugh. Okay. Take those stringy parts off, and we're good to go. So you're gonna slide them, you're gonna slice them around this thickness, okay? See that? You're just gonna keep slicing them. And this, this dish essentially is a layered kind of dish. So we're going to arrange these in layers. First we'll go, first we'll go the wafers, like you see in the bowl there. And then we're going to add a layer of the um, 
custard and then we're going to put the bananas and then we're going to repeat again okay we're going to start again all over again and i'll show you how see that's a consistency it's going to thicken up the longer it sits or when you put it in the fridge so don't worry about it if it looks kind of runny okay so to the wafers i'm going to add i'm going to just gently pour that in there it helps if you have a ladle that has a sprout in it it's easier to pour or you can if you have a pot that has a sprout on it you just pour it directly into the bowl man it smells so good <laughs> i could eat it just now and I have a friend called Melissa who requests this every time she sees me or Thanksgiving. She's like, we have some of the nano pudding. They call it nano pudding, okay? So I'm just going to arrange these slices that I've already cut into the bowl. Try and put them next to each other and try and, I'm sorry, <laughs> they're kind of slippery. Leave as little space as you can in between the banana slices. All right. It looks like it's a lot of work. But really, the end result is beautiful, and it tastes delicious. So don't worry about it. It's worth all the effort you put in there. Okay, I'm going to slice another banana. And just a long little line go and peel. Now this is a dish that will always be on my Thanksgiving table. And I thought I'd show you how to make this, being that Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Okay, okay, spread them all nice and even next to each other. Try and leave as little space between them as possible. Okay. See that? Okay, now we're gonna put another ladle full of the custard over the bananas. Ooh, look at that. Wouldn't you wish we had smell a vision where you could get the smell of whatever you're cooking or whatever you're watching being cooked online or on the television screen? That's beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna put another layer of wafers in there. Okay. Try, see what I'm doing? I'm trying to layer them on top of each other, not all the way, just kind of halfway. And once we complete this layer, we're going to repeat again from the beginning. You're going to put another layer of the custard, and then sliced bananas, and then custard again, and then wafers, okay? So I'm going to keep doing this. When we come back, I will show you the finished product. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back guys. When we were on break, I went ahead and finished layering the trifle or the banana pudding. And this, my dear friends, is a finished product. Just layers of flavor. There's the wafers, there's the pudding, bananas, pudding, and start all over again. So you layer them in that sequence, okay? And it smells, oh, I just wanna dig in. That is my bowl and I am ready to eat. So, I will see you next time when we make more dishes, okay? Don't forget to come back and subscribe, people, so that when new products come in or when new um, dishes come in, you will be notified, okay? Thank you for joining me, and have a good evening. This is Stella's Meza, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.